Like I was saying, right? Sorry about the lightning and shit. I'm in the crib now, though. You did. I'm trying to get closer to the fucking light a little bit. All right. Basically, so what I was saying, right? The Chirac shit. You feel me? I just seen a video. G Count dropped a visual for the uh the Chirac game disc, bro. That shit dope. And in the, in the, in the video, it go to some nigga. And he like, do your dad know game? You know what I'm saying? Your dad ever, you know, talks to you about game. He's like, nah, my dad don't know game. My dad ain't never talked to game, blah, 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 right? That, that shit was dope. And it's just him going around, you know what I mean, standing on the block. You know, basically just shot a visual for the uh, actual uh, song or whatever, which that's pretty fucking sick. So to go back, like I said, with the whole Chirac shit, it came out that Nicki Minaj was doing a song with an artist from Chicago, um... What, 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 Lil Herb, you know what I'm saying, called Chirac. Now, I was thinking, all right, you know, Nicki gonna jump on the Chicago wave, you know what I mean? Give it some different light, similar to what Kanye did with uh, I Don't Like the Chief Keef record. So that's gonna give it some more light, you know, because it's kind of, keep it real, it's kind of dying down. You know what I'm saying? So she did the record, and I was like, mm, it was okay. It wasn't the best Nicki Minaj record, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, but her flow is still there, but I think she needs to find her own shit, because that's like, not the New York sound, you know what I mean? So people want that old mixtape Nicki back that everybody used to fuck with her for. Lil Herb did this thing on the record, you know what I'm saying? So it just seemed like it was a hit and a miss. It came, people talked about it, but it was gone within the next few days. Honestly, Nicki's songs have been coming, gone. You know what I mean? They talk about them at the end of the day, and then that's just basically it, you feel me? So then it goes, who's the first person to like actually do the freestyle? I heard Cassidy did a freestyle over it, you know what I mean, uh, a couple other artists did freestyles to it, but it's not about freestyles, a lot of people attack the beat, yeah, they did, but at the end of the day, it's about when Dirk got on the beat with Tyga, we fast forward now, so he got on the shit with Meek Mill and Shy Glizzy, you know what I mean, and, and actually, you know, dissed the nigga Tyga, right, so it came back, Tyga did like a little... I don't know what you want to call it, um, little skit of what he was about to do, you know what I'm saying, as far as the diss to, uh, Lil Dirk, and then he came back, and he got game on the record, we already know this, I talked about that, you know what I'm saying, so fast forward a little bit, to where, out of nowhere, here come G Count from LEP Boys, LEP Bogus Boys, excuse me, and a vicious attack on the game, you know what I'm saying, a vicious attack, let's not get it fucked up, he did his thing on that diss record, now, we all know game for, you know, dissing people, um, and he can end niggas' careers, he done done a lot of it, make people that's kind of relevant, irrelevant, like, he's done that, let's not get it twisted, but even in the song, G Count said, I'm not about to give you a hundred bars, I'm not doing it back and forth, he basically got at that nigga and was like, nigga, it can go there if you want it to go there, because you know how game always talking about that, that whole... You know what I mean? It's rap shit, but then it's street shit. And G Count strictly said in the record, my nigga, it can go there. You know what I'm saying? We can turn this shit up. Why you think they call Chirac the murder capital? So I don't think Game would be no time going uh, to Chirac. Not saying Game's a bitch. I'm not saying he don't know niggas, you know, that no niggas that, that's affiliated with real, you know, gang members. Like, um, not like the little niggas that's in the street, like the, you know, the niggas that got power, basically. I'm not saying game don't know nobody that know motherfuckers like that. I'm, I mean, he's a nigga, but I'm looking at it as a real nigga aspect. It ain't no fucking way of, like, I'm not affiliated with gang shit. Similar to Tiger, he ain't similar, simulated. I mean, he not affiliated with, you know, gang members, but I heard his brother run Hoover or some shit like that. So at the end of the day, it's like, I'm just a regular nigga, but my niggas around me, you know, is, is repping this and it. But the leader of this... Has to, it's like a chain, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I think game will have to go to the top ranking members, you know what I'm saying, to get a pass to go to Chirac and if he got a performer in there. Cause we seen what happened with GDs and Rick Ross. Rick Ross came out and said some shit and yada, 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 but he didn't take his ass to that motherfucking city and do his thing. I think he did, and what he came out in a mink or some shit, crazy shit, but fast forward back to game. So at the end of the day, this shit is not gonna go, I don't see game. Responded on record. I don't think that's really good because you have niggas that don't give a fuck about this rap shit and you say something off the merit of where they from and the area they come from, they going to see you. You feel me? And we all know the, the bullshit game have done with 40 Glock and 
you know, this camera type shit, which is in a kind of a way dry snitching on yourself in a sense. Like, why would you, you know, do that? But, I mean, games are funny, nigga, when you do certain shit. So, at the end of the day, I don't know what to say about the situation, but I will say I don't think games should reply. You know what I mean? I ain't saying he should apologize either, but you just put yourself in a really fucked up predicament. Because if G-Count dropped one more diss song, he already did the song on the visual, all he got, and Game haven't, re, haven't responded. The nigga responded with a Twitter or Instagram or some dumb shit like that, right? So I'm looking at it as Game, I don't know what he gonna do. You feel me? Because it can go some to some real street shit. Like every day, niggas in Chirac getting smoked. Well, a couple weeks ago, four or five people got killed and did. Before that, earlier this year, that, that, that park incident, or was that last year? But y'all get what I'm saying. So I don't know. Like, you, you seen artists, Rondo number nine, you know, salute to that nigga. Gone. You feel me? License. So at the end of the day, it's, it's like, I don't know what to think about, like, the niggas from Chirac. They dope as far as the music shit, if they could focus on that. But when it comes to that other shit, they ain't thinking twice about it. You know what I mean? Like, I just seen, like, a little Reese interview with a uh, little Urban shit. And they was asking about the whole situation with Def Jam and shit. And, and basically, I see what Def Jam is doing. They holding artists back until they get that one song that's going to bow to the top. No dis disrespect to Lil Real Reese. Like, I, I think that nigga uh, Don't Like Mixtape was fucking incredible. I think that's a street classic. His Super Savage, I could sit there and say he had, out of, what, 10 songs, 5 of them I like. He wasn't as focused. But I think that with everything that's going on with, you know, him punching that girl that kind of stagnated his career and the shit that he keep doing, like, you know what I mean? I just seen him on IG with, uh, uh, you know, you could do a video and nothing wrong with, you know, being you and, you know, he and his hood smoking weed and shit like that on his block or whatever. But if I'm a label exec, I look at that like, how can we market that? I mean, look what Chief Keef did. He took what the viral shit from YouTube, propelled it to a career and... He doing what the fuck he want to do, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, he made it to where he's supposed to be at. So I just feel like you got to be hungry for shit. You know what I mean? We don't need a whole nother G-Unit situation with, you know, Chief Keef basically, thanks to um, Young Chop, you know, and the niggas that's around him. But Chief Keef did pair no work, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you can't look at his team and be like, all right, because he rich, we all rich. Like, it ain't really like that. You got to get out there and grind. Now, if he get a tour... And he bring his mans in there with him, and you know we all you negotiate the deal where all of us get this amount. They may not get as much as me, but they gonna get something. If I'm getting fifty, I want all my mans at least to get ten, fifteen. You know what I'm saying? But to go back to the whole Chirac, you know this and shit. I'm just basically saying that when it comes to certain shit, those niggas really don't fuck around. You know what I mean? So I just think game should assess the situation, be the peacemaker. It was a misunderstanding. You know what I mean? And like I said, bring Dirk French, because he signed the Coke Boys, to the table. Because it ain't got nothing else to do outside of Coke Boys and YMCMB and shit like that. And bring that shit to the table and see if they can't, you know what I mean, put that shit to rest. Because now it's going, they're not even talk about Dirk and Tiger. Because everybody keeps saying that, you know, when Dirk got on the record, he got washed. Tiger with game. Tiger got overshadowed. So now they're looking at it as game versus G count. They're forgetting about the Dirk and Tiger shit. So it's like, it's kind of weird because it's making it seem like I said, like some LA versus Chirac shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not part of, affiliated with no kind of gang culture. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at it as um, a lot of different shit. Like people say that the gang culture started in LA and then you watch um, American Gangster where they show Chi Town and so I'm just looking at that shit as a whole, like, man, where is this shit really going? You know, what are y'all trying to propel from this? You know, if game, you're a millionaire, you're rich. Like, what are you doing doing rap beefs and shit like that with the little homies? Like, what, what? come on, bro, what kind of example is this for your kids? I'm thinking as, you know, a rational person. Now, if I wanted to think as an irrational person, I could say, fuck it, go ahead and diss all them niggas. And if it come to y'all niggas shooting it out, niggas shoot it out, nigga. If you want to live that thug life, that whole real nigga mentality type shit, go that route. But I'm just sitting there saying, as a fan of music, keep it music. I don't give a fuck about what happened in a nigga personal life. That's not me. Y'all already know how I feel. But personal opinion, this just me speaking. Game, shut the fuck up. Don't respond. You don't need no more L's in your career. 
because the stripper shit off top, niggas don't fucking forget about that nigga <laughs> with the stripper shit. Pause. Nigga had a tongue ring, right? Nigga was on uh, what was that love connection or some shit like that? Let's not forget it fucked up. Even with Tiger, when he had that fucked up ass S curl, some shit like that, when he was on that that what MTV show or whatever. You know what I mean? And, and and when he came out with the coconut juice shit, now you're this and you're that gangster affiliated and all this shit. Let's not get it fucked up. Y'all two niggas don't got the best background, not the thoroughest background. You feel me? So at the end of the day, leave that shit alone for niggas start helping. You know how 50 Cent is. He likes to get in other people's shit and, 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 and pick and, and instigate. He's a big instigator. You feel me? So what if this nigga can help the nigga from Chi-Town with little information like, whoa, I know this, you know what I mean? Lead people to his direction. You know how 50 Cent is. He sees shit. He's a spectator in the sport. And he instigates both sides. You feel what I'm saying? Because he has resources. I won't be surprised if this type of shit enters 50 Cent music. The nigga may go back and do more music based off what he's saying. And throw shots at game. or throw. You feel what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, bro, I don't mean to make this a long ass video. Game, call that shit an L. You took an L. Don't respond to that shit. Tiger, you did a bitch move by going to run and get an older nigga to handle your shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you supposed to be a real nigga. If I was your bitch, I would look at you differently. Like, all right, we breaking up. She should go fuck with Dirk now. Because it's just like, nigga, you supposed to... That's just like if you were in the streets with your girl, y'all, or whatever, and a nigga approach you, you gonna sit there and, nah, baby, go sit in the car or go back in the restaurant. You get on the phone and call another nigga to handle your shit. Feel what I'm saying? Like, if you don't get your ass beat or what have you, take the L. I mean, if it's a friend of your girl or not, at least she could say that he was man enough to stand up for me. And you know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, this shit is bullshit. Salute to G-Count, because that nigga murder game on that record. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. You know, Dirk, uh, you should try again, because I heard the song you put out called Party is bullshit. So, it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's all rap, man. It's all music. I thought that's what niggas got in the game for, not for this beef shit. But y'all let me know what y'all um, feel about the whole situation. I'm not talking about this shit no more. To me, it's old news. Once I go to sleep and wake up, G-Count killed that nigga game. Game destroyed Dirk, but he also made Tiger vs. Relevant on some whole um, Kendrick Lamar shit when Kendrick Lamar got on the control verse. That's what this situation remind me of. Kendrick Lamar did a fucking verse on a song, on a beat, everybody felt a way about it and got on that same beat. That's how I feel about this shit. How many other niggas gonna come out and get on the same beat that's from Chicago to get at Tiger, to get at Game? How many niggas from over there gonna feel like they gonna have to get at Durkin? It's shit crazy, man. But at the end of the day, salute Nicki Minaj for starting a new wave for niggas getting on the beat over nothing. Holla.